Yeah, good morning and welcome back. Okie dokie, we've got a, a number of um, small jobs to do before I can physically start clearcoing the skins on, the wing skins on. So I'm just wrapping those off this morning and um, I'll get on to, uh, to start those today. We've got the mounting blocks that can now go back on after I've now primed the mating surfaces. So I've got one there to go and I've got one just up the tip of that um, wing spar. I've got the stiffener angles, the tie down bracket, the little stop plate for the other, where the other spar comes through. There's on the first four ribs, as you are all probably aware, there's some pitot and static tube mounting bracket or a little plate that the tubes go through and give you sort of a, a nice path of travel back to the cockpit area. Uh, at the root rib I've got to make up some more of those little reinforcing plates both top and bottom on both nose rib and aft spar, uh, sorry aft um, uh, wing section so the aerofoil section I've got to make those up and then uh, prime those, or sorry bend them, uh, upsize them, prime them and rivet it to the uh, reinforcing plates that are on, or the reinforcing angle that gets bolted through the spar. Uh, I will be leaving this root rib off for the short period until I physically have to put it on as a temporary measure uh, when I start to do the skins, I guess. And there's the rear attach angle to go on for the rear spar. I think that's pretty much everything, oh, apart from the parts that I ordered from Sonics through the week for the uh, bushings for the aileron bell crank. Once that sort of arrives, I can then finish off the uh, belt, so the push rods for the ailerons uh, and get on to, uh, I guess it's uh, then ready to start skinning this aeroplane. So uh, let me get on to that to start with and um, see how I go in a few hours. Come back to you shortly. Yeah, good morning and welcome back. Got a whole bunch of parts here ready for riveting. So I might just bring the camera over and uh, show you what we've done from yesterday. Okay, just starting uh, with the root ribs, they're all primed. Uh, I have made up the gussets for the aft rib and the nose ribs are all done. Uh, the attached brackets are all primed and ready to be put back together. Here's the other nose rib, or have one, the one uh, nose rib. I've got the pitot and static tube uh, attach angle, uh, pl or plate, sorry for the bushings to go through and the tubing to go through on the first four ribs. Uh, yesterday I completed the, there he is, the, um, at the mounting blocks I put back on here. I hadn't at the stage done these bolts through here. They're all now completed and up through the reinforcing angle for the Tie down bracket is done. Still waiting on the parts to come from Sonics. They should be here maybe midweek of this week. Uh, that way I can finish off the bell crank. Now one job that I did not mention yesterday that I have to do, which I'm still working out uh, what to do, is a, a conduit through uh, here from tip to root uh, for the cables to run for the uh, navigation light uh, for the aeroburst uh, navigation lights so I'll work on that I'll probably be using a uh, tubing similar to the pitot and static and just run that through with some safety wire between ribs so it can't slip backwards and forwards I guess and that way I can run the cables through at a later stage if that is of course if I put a draw wire through but anyway uh, get onto that uh, when I do it. Now once I complete all what you see here now, um, excluding the conduit for the navigation lights, technically I can actually start to rivet the skin, or sorry, uh, click over the skins on, which I'll probably be starting this morning. So uh, let's get on to it and uh, see how we go in a few hours. Talk with you soon.
Okay, I've uh, assembled everything I think I have to do. So uh, I think I'm ready for fitting the top side sheet now and start to see how it uh, goes with Clecoing. So all of the pitot and static uh, tube supports are in. I've just temporarily fixed the root ribbon spot. I've done the aft spar through the riveting, through the side of that uh, bracket, or the um, plate, the L bracket. Uh, everything is uh, good to go, I think. Okay, I have uh, secured the top, si uh, the top side right uh, aft sheet in position now. Uh, I, now, I know it's too late, but I just thought I would just... Um, Double check with the with the laser level just to uh, to see how it was going. So I've just lined it through all of these holes all the way down to the tip end of the wing, using that as a parallel. I've worked off my mark 19 inches back, which is right there on the spar. It runs through my tooling hole at the moment on the rear spar. And if I go up to here, it should be all the way through my finger. If I do it there, there it is. So it's running through those uh, through those holes. So I, I know it's way too late to have done that, but uh, it was just to double double check myself. But there, it is. that's it. Um, top side sheet is done. Uh, uh, aft top side sheet for the right hand wing. So. Uh, I might uh, close this one off now and um, post it through the week and then turn these wings over next weekend and start the underside. Talk with you all soon.